Hello YouTube, this is Fadi here and you are watching my channel the PAB the Android boy and today I'm gonna show you one of my favorite Google Nexus 5 Lollipop ROM present in the XQ forums and the ROM is called the Bliss Pop ROM and let's go to the setting and about phone section and you can see here model number is Nexus 5, Bliss Pop version is 1.7 and it is based on the latest Android which is 5.0.2 and it is a Synergy mode ported ROM and the kernel it is provided with is 3.4 which is the best Synergy mode kernel and believe me it has a decent battery life I am getting around 8 to 10 hours of battery life using this ROM with moderate use and as you can see here the ROM is pretty fast and it is pretty fluid ROM and this is the ROM with a lot of customizations present and believe me I haven't seen any ROM having so many customizations, harsh interface and great battery life together and just go to the setting menu and here you can see there are a lot of options like these are the common options you, you can find in any other ROMs like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage but after that you can find the personalization setting in personalization setting you can find the interface setting in the interface you can change everything in the status bar from the battery icons to the clock and date can change the clock color and uh, placement of the clock you can change the battery status you can change the battery icon here or icon color here you can set a battery bar option it means that there will be a bar present in the status bar so you the battery percentage or in the navigation bar and then you have the then you have the mobile and Wi-Fi network icon in this option you can basically change anything you can see in your status bar from the color to the icon size or style then you have the recent bar option the recent bar option and this is the recent bar and as you know just click on the recent button and this is the lollipop style recent bar and you can change them you can set clear all task it means there will be a cross showing on showing at the top of the recent option to print the goal and then you have the notification drawer you can change the enlarge fast row the notification will be enlarged and there are a lot of top options like the vibrate to touch when you touch there will be a vibration and then you have the advanced location quick setting quick pull down I already mentioned that in other ROMs, what is quick pull down? It means when you fight from the right, it will stop you the quick toggles, and if you fight left from the status bar, then it will show you the notification. And after that, you have the lock screen option. In the lock screen, you can disable the lock screen camera and the dialer, and you can set the clock wizard setting. You can change the clock using the clock wizard setting. Then you have the power menu. And there are a lot of options you can enable when you press the power button like I just let me enable the screen record option and I enable it and for the demonstration you press and hold the power button and you can see here the screen record option is now present in the when I press the power button and you can basically enable any of these options using this setting then you have the navigation bar option and you can change the height and width of the navigation bar the placement of the navigation bar using this option then you have the pi control option and if you are and if you are previously in an android user you already knew that pi control what is pi control and i have already enabled this then you have the gesture anywhere option it means swipe up to show the app drawer you can set swipe you can set any of the gesture you want like double tap or swipe up or swipe down this type of animation then you have the animation setting you can basically change the list view animation or other other animation using this setting then you have the app circle bar you can change the app circle launch option using this setting then you have the device control you can set the cpu frequency or you can change the cpu setting gpu setting and extra and it is a feature tech rom there are a lot of setting you can see here in this rom and there is a 40 object here you can download the direct download the OT updates from the Bliss Pop sites using this using your ROM. You don't need you can download the GFs also using this ROM. So you don't need to download the, the ROM or any GFs. 
separately you can now directly download this from your phone and as you can see there are a lot of customization present in your in this rom and it is pretty happy rom and having so many customizations still it is a pretty fast rom and giving me a great battery life and for my opinion there are two others rom which are great like the Sinus and Mod 12 and it is based on the Sinus and Mod 12 so in the all the Sinus and features are present in this rom and the other rom is the screw rom I like the screw rom also but this rom is for the from the aspect of a great customization ROM, this ROM is perfect and you can easily use this as your daily driver and if you want a ROM with a lot of customizations, fast, fluid and great battery life then this ROM is perfectly, perfectly perfect for you then as you can see here the Super SU is pre-enabled in this ROM so you don't need to download the Super SU and it's a pre-rooted ROM it means when you down install this ROM your phone will be rooted automatically because and Super SU is installed in your ROM will be installed in your ROM then you can change the change the um, performance it means you can set the CPU governor using this setting then you have the developer option and as I mentioned before this ROM is feature effect and the developer option is pre-enabled it means you, you don't need to go to the about font section then press on hold the and 7 tap on the build number to enable the developer option and developer option, option is pre-enabled in this ROM and believe me this is the perfect ROM and it is the most feature tech ROM I have came across till now and I am it is a pretty good ROM, I like this ROM very much and I am now going to use this ROM as my daily driver. If you have any problem installing the ROM, then just go to the description section and I will put all step by step guide there with all the important things, download links. Just follow the instruction and you will be downloaded and you can easily download this ROM on your phone. And I hope this, this video is quite helpful and if you think this video is helpful then please share and please share this with your friends and family and if you like the video then don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will catch you in the next video guys till then peace and thank you for watching